guys welcome back to my channel so i'm super super excited for today's video because colourpop has done it again i feel like the last few videos that i've done have been colourpop and it's not on purpose that i'm doing all these colourpop videos it's just that colourpop is coming out with so much new stuff that i just cannot keep up Thank God for Afterpay because my poor little wallet cannot handle the amount of launches that they have come out with recently. So, if you guys don't already know, ColourPop has collabed again with Disney to um, launch their villains collection so this is the eyeshadow palette um it is called misunderstood and it says villains up here in the top in holographic and this is color pop on the bottom misunderstood and then this is kind of like a kaleidoscope of different villain movie scenes so we have hades over here ursula here the evil queen here maleficent here and dr facilier here um and cruella is right here I know some people were complaining because they were saying that they wish that the villains were seen a little more clear on the packaging but I still think that this is really really cool packaging and I did do this eye look here using this eyeshadow palette as well as some other products which I will have at the end of this video if you guys are interested in learning how to do this and just for a little quick disclaimer I also did change my lip because um the two co lip colors that I did pick up, I wasn't really feeling how it went with the eye look. But then after I finished filming everything, um, I realized that I think it was because the shirt I had on was not really going with the makeup look. Because it was like this burgundy shirt that I had on for a different video. No, I then changed my lipstick and I still wasn't liking it. And then I realized, oh, it's the shirt that I have on. So I changed my shirt. So that's basically what I went ahead and did. And I put on this like turtleneck shirt that has like kind of these, um, what's it called? Like bat wing sleeve type bell sleeves i guess you could say um so i thought that this would be very appropriate with this eyeshadow look as well as this collection but every time that i wear this i feel very like you know mysterious so i felt like it really went with the vibe of the whole look so this is the eyeshadow palette that they came out with it is a 15 pan eyeshadow palette that reseals for 22 dollars and in the inside it has this like black on black black gloss on a matte black background and it has different icons from each of the movies which i think is really really cool and then this is the actual eyeshadow palette so like i said it has 15 shades and it is on a holographic background and the names are on here in a pink hot pink handwriting or hot pink writing you can't really see it on camera that well because of the hollow but in person you can read the names very clearly and if that doesn't work for you there are the names on the back as well so um a lot of people have been kind of complaining about this eyeshadow palette um i think that it is the perfect eyeshadow palette for like villains because it's like fun colors and i feel like with the princess designer collection that palette that they came out with this was very like neutral um you had your four mattes or your five mattes up on the top as well as two shades down here that can also work as mattes and the rest were all shimmers and they were very neutral and very soft and pretty which i feel like really represents the princesses while this has more like fun pops of color and as well as a few neutrals in here too and some mute really really beautiful like um smoky eyeshadow eyeshadows as well as metallics which i feel like really goes well with the villains because i feel like the villains are always like more out there than the princesses the princesses are kind of more like uh, reserved while the villains of course are more out there so i feel like this eyeshadow palette does represent the villains very well i know one of the biggest complaints is that the amount of mattes in here because there's only really one two three four five different mattes two of these mattes up here are transition shades a matte white over here a matte black here and then this matte like marine blue but i did find that a few of these shimmers um because they aren't as metallic can be used as a a good matte or like transition shade so if you don't want to use any of these then you can use um 
any of the other shimmers as well that aren't that metallic. For example, I used today the shade called Forest of Thorns, which is this purple shimmer shade right here in the middle of the palette and I actually used that as my transition shade because of the look that I was going for I felt like that really really went well with the rest of the look so um definitely play around with these don't think that you can't use shimmers in the crease because you definitely can as long as they're not too frosty you should be okay and honestly i feel like it almost blended out to like a satin finish and even when i swatch it i feel like it's not as shimmery or as metallic like it's more of a dual chrome type of shade so i feel like it really does work so just keep that in mind i'm gonna go ahead and swatch these eyeshadows really really quick on the back of my arm here so you guys can see the colors on my skin tone and let you guys know my thoughts on the palette so. so here we have the whole entire eyeshadow palette swatched honestly i feel like i'm getting so much better at my swatches because i feel like these are the straightest swatches that i've ever done and this is without a stencil just using my fingers um so this first shade right here is the matte white called no spots the second shade right here is this really pretty champagne with a bunch of glitter and a metallic base called mongrels. Then we have this like lime green yellow shade that is a metallic and it is called Diablo. The next shade is called Devious and it is a matte orangey brown. The next shade is called Tragic which is a matte soft brown. Then we have Underworld, which is a matte, like, rose gold bronze shade. Then we have Pain and Panic, which I feel would be a good transition shade if you wanted to use it like that. Um, this is a matte or a, a glittery eyeshadow that I feel like has a pretty matte base. Um, a matte, like, soft brown base with some orange and gold glitter flakes in there. Then we have Forest of Thorns, which is this duochrome purpley blue shade. Then we have Flotsam, which is this duochrome lavender with blue flakes in it. Then we have the shade called The Fates, which is that tealy navy blue shade. Actually performs really, really well for being a blue. Then we have um, Revenge, which is a matte black with silver glitter. I would say it's more of a sh like satin black with shimmer. Then we have the shade called Sing, which is this really cool shade. I feel like it is on a black base and it has these glitters that either reflect purple or orange depending on how you're looking at them. The camera is picking it up to be more of a... A purple shade then we have jetsam which i feel like is a satin navy blue with some blue shimmer throughout it then we have facile which is also another satin shade that has some green and gold glitters spread throughout it and then we have the last shade which is called 101 which is a matte charcoal black so those are the shades of the eyeshadow palettes. I feel like these eyeshadows perform extremely well, but that's no shock to me because ColourPop has some of the best eyeshadow formula that I've seen. Um, I really, really like them a lot. And like I said, I feel like there aren't that many metallic sh shimmer shades. There are a lot of satin shimmer shades that have glitter in them. So I feel like you can do a lot of different looks with this you just kind of have to play around with it and think outside of the box and kind of go out of your comfort zone too when you are using these shades on the eyes so then um this collection is massive and unfortunately my budget does not allow me to get every single thing so what i decided to do was get one item from each villain um my personal favorite villain is ursula because i love the little mermaid so um out of all the Ursula items, this was probably the first item that really, really stuck out to me. If you guys didn't know this about me already, I love the ColourPop Jelly Munch eyeshadows. And this one is in the shade Just Your Voice, which I think is super cute. It has that black packaging with the word Villains in holographic. And you have the ColourPop and Disney logo. I think it's actually upside down, is it? Yes. Okay, there we go. And then in the back, it does say the name as well on a, on a color graphic 
holographic holographic background and then when you open it up it does have the little lid that matches the actual shade and this is what the shade looks like so that's actually what i have on the center or on the, my eyelid right here um this color is just absolutely gorgeous it just reminds me of the ocean which i feel like went really well with her theme so this one is just it's such a gorgeous shade because it's like this ocean blue shade that has purple and blue shimmer reflex in it and just depending on where you look like i just feel like this really does capture the essence of the ocean like gives you that nice sparkle to the um eyeshadow the next product that i picked up is from i picked up two of the highlighters um this one is from the Cruella collection and this one this is in the shade you fools you idiots you fools you imbeciles and I really really love the neon um characters that they did I thought that was really really cute and on the back has the like print that they've been using for all of the um unit cartons and also just right here in the very very corner is a little tiny image of Cruella which I thought was really cute has the name back there and it lets you know which villain um this highlighter is for and these are actually super shock highlighters which you guys know they did make the super shock highlighters um so that they can go in palettes and not dry out again we have the hollow packaging in the inside and then this is what the highlighter looks like so when you first glance at it it looks like it's just this like white um but in person you can really see that it's more of a soft gold with like little silver glitters silver and pink glitters within it and it is just absolutely gorgeous so um this is what the shade looks like so i don't know if you guys can tell on my finger i feel like you can really see the essence of what this highlighter looks like and this is what it looks like on the back of my hand and it's actually the highlighter that i have on as well um this reminds me of the ColourPop loose highlighter in the shade um princesa from becky g and um but just in a pressed version well in the super shock version it is absolutely gorgeous super super pigmented and then the other one that i got was the maleficent one so as you guys can see again we have uh, maleficent in that neon really cool um artwork and then on the back we have her what her packaging looks like which is the flowers with the thorns and it's a um, purple pink and green and black which definitely does capture the maleficent essence and this one is in the shade mistress of all evil which i think is the most popular highlighter of all of them um this one is absolutely gorgeous as well on camera it's not really picking up how beautiful it is um but it is like this really light champagne gold with a bunch of silver glitters and even though it has those silver glitters look how blinding that is um even though it has those silver glitters i feel like once you put it on the cheeks the glitters really tend to kind of melt um they're not that large of, sh of chunks of glitter not like the corella highlighter i feel like in the corella highlighter you can really see the glitter chunks while in this one you can't see them as much so i really do um like this highlighter a lot and then i picked up this gloss from the hades collection and this was this one is in the shade hot headed so when you first look at it it looks like it is this orange boring lip gloss but it's actually this duochrome that depending on how the light hits it looks kind of pink so um the only thing i don't like about it is that it is that brush applicator so mine is kind of frayed as you guys can see um and i feel like it makes for a messier application but this shade is absolutely gorgeous it's like a really pretty peachy lip gloss with a little bit of a pink flip and i absolutely love how the lip glosses smell too so see in person i feel like it looks more pinky while on camera i feel like it's really picking up that orange shade so then the next item that i picked up was from the dr facilier collection and this is the lips 
this is the Lux lipstick and this is in the creme formula and the packaging on this is super super cute it's just like the inside of the palette but except it's matte black with silver which I thought was super cool and my favorite part of it all is the fact that the um lipsticks have the word villains embossed in them while the princess ones didn't have anything embossed on them which I was kind of upset about but it's little things um so this is in the shade so all the lipsticks are named after the villain so this one's just in the shade Dr. Facilier which if you guys don't know he is the villain for Princess and the Frog and this is a gorgeous shade a lot of people said that it looks like the Belle lipstick which I don't think it does I feel like it might but just a little bit darker it's like this really pretty brick mauve shade and it was the lipstick that I tried to wear but I felt like once I put it on the lips it looked more peach I don't know what it was but maybe it was the shirt that I had earlier but whatever and then the last lipstick shade as well as the last item that I picked up from the collection is the evil queen lipstick and this is a matte formula and again we have the word villains embossed in it and this is a gorgeous gorgeous matte red lipstick and let me tell you guys that this lipstick I wore it yesterday and I had it on for like six or seven hours hadn't retouched it once and ate and everything and this lipstick did not budge so this is a true like deepened red shade that i feel like will really look gorgeous on every single person and truly like captures the essence of the evil queen she always has that really bold matte red lipstick and from the rest of the collection i really do feel like everything mostly everything really captures the essence of each villain although some people think that it should have been more bold or more vibrant or more neon i like where ColourPop went with this villains collection because i feel like we still have some fun pops of color but at the same time we also have um more wearable items um yeah that's pretty much it i really like this collection a lot i loved how all the products performed i think that they all performed amazingly and honestly i don't know how color pop just continues to come out with better products every single time that they come out with a collection or just any kind of launch i don't know how they do it but kudos to you ColourPop you guys rock my socks you already know that oh and one more thing too I forgot to mention um like I said earlier I did change my lip and um I didn't use any of the lip products that I actually got because I wasn't really feeling the vibe that I was getting so what I went ahead and did was just take um a brown lip liner this is the Coco Loco lip liner from Jordana and I went ahead and lined my lips really messily and just kind of spread it on my lips and then I took the ColourPop glossy lip in the shade Fantasia which is this really pretty like beige lip gloss that has little tiny light gold um glitters in it so it makes the lips look really juicy so i really really like how this lip goes with the eyes because i feel like um since the lips aren't that bold you can really focus all of your attention on the eyes so anyways um i hope you guys did like my little tiny review and one more thing if you guys if you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel make sure you guys do hit the red subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell so that way you guys never miss out on any of my new videos and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up so that way i know what kind of content to create for you guys in the future and without further ado if you guys want to see how to recreate this really beautiful um ursula inspired makeup look then just continue watching so we're starting off with the misunderstood eyeshadow palette and this is what it looks like on the inside and we're going to take the shade forest of thorns and take it on a pointed taper brush and apply that into the crease and i'm going to kind of wing it out a little bit so that way the eyeshadow is more elongated and then i'm going to go ahead and bring that back inwards to create that bee like shape and then just to blend everything out i'm taking a morphe m514 brush in the shade tragic and i'm just going to lightly blend out the edges of that purple shade and then to start deepening things up I'm taking a smaller pointed brush and taking the shade the fates and I'm gonna kind of pat it in place and also kind of buff it out I'm using very very light pressure just to go ahead and 
get all the edges smooth out but also make this nice and intense and then to deepen up that blue shade I'm gonna take the shade 101 and put that right on top and this is gonna create more of a navy blue versus a teal blue um, so if you ever want to deepen up any of your eyeshadows all you have to do is just take a black and put it on top then I'm just blending the purple in and then I'm taking the shade called Jet Sim and I'm gonna apply that onto the lid and this is gonna be a base for the Jelly Munch eyeshadow that we're gonna use later and I'm just gonna go ahead and pack that in place then taking this Morphe brush and just cleaning up the edges to really wing out the eyeshadow this is one of my favorite tricks um, whenever I have already done my foundation to go ahead and clean everything up then I'm taking the Jelly Munch shade in Just Your Voice and this Pixie brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and pat that in place I really like this pixie brush because it's nice and dense so it really packs on the jelly much shadows really precisely and um, then I'm just taking that pointed brush again and just blending the jelly much with the rest of the eyeshadow using very light pressure make sure there are no harsh lines then I'm taking the ColourPop liquid liner in the shade uno mas which is the black shade and I went ahead and adjusted a regular wing cleaned up all of the powder underneath my eyes just in case if there was any fallout which honestly there wasn't that much fallout at all um, and just kind of making sure that it's nice and clean under there then I'm going to take the shade the fates again and just go ahead and buff that on my lower lash line to kind of smoke things out and connect the look I always feel like doing this step really helps to connect everything together then I'm taking this teal blue eyeliner from Stila and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that in my inner waterline you can use whatever eyeliner you want I just like this one then I'm taking the purple shade and blending out the fates with that because I feel like it really just connects everything and makes it look symmetrical to the top part of the eyes and originally I wanted to take the green shade called Diablo and put that in my inner corner which I thought didn't look bad but I knew what lipstick shade I had so I was just kind of taking that into consideration so I ended up changing my mind later on um, which you guys will see right now that I took the shade Flotsam and I just went ahead and put that right on top and just kind of really buff that in to get rid of that green um, so sometimes this is what you have to do whenever I'm doing my makeup sometimes I really don't know what I'm doing half the time but anyways I took these eyelashes from Kiss these are in the style Gala they're full mink lashes taking the Cruella highlighter and you fools you imbeciles you idiots which like I said it looks white but it's really really pretty and one of my favorite things to do with super shock cheeks is taking a beauty sponge and wetting it with a little bit of beauty spray I pinch it really really close and then just kind of tap that in place and I find that you get the best intensity out of your super shock and it also um, blends out really really easily so I apply it first wherever I want to and then I just kind of either take my finger or a brush just to blend out any harsh lines here I decided to just take a brush and this is just a powder brush and then I went ahead and um, started lining my lips. Originally, I was going to take the Dr. Facilier shade um, to put with this eye look, but I didn't really like the vibe of it. So you're going to see how it looks with the Dr. Facilier shade. I took a brown lip liner first and then put on the Dr. Facilier shade. I think maybe if I had a different color shirt it, or like the black shirt, I think it would have looked a lot better. But as I had it on, I was like, oh, it doesn't look too bad. I think where I really messed up was with the gloss. And this is the Hades gloss. And I think it just made it too peach. So I was not really feeling that. So I don't know. Let me know if you guys end up liking this combination. I personally just didn't like it at the moment. So then I decided to do more of a vampier look. Um, which I didn't mind that much. So I took the ColourPop Mamacita lip liner and went ahead and lined my lips all the way through since I knew that the only other lipstick I had was that red and it wasn't gonna go well so I kind of wanted it to be more of this dark and purpley red so I took the Evil Queen lipstick and went ahead and applied it on top and at first I was kind of feeling it but then after a while um, when I went to go take my pictures later on I didn't know how I felt about it anymore so I didn't think it looked that horrible but this was basically the finished look